Happy Christmas! Welcome to our mast service for Christmas Day 2020. If you have the internet, you'll find a link to, for a sheet accompanying this service uh, that's by the side of the video and you can download and print this out to follow at home. But today is Christmas Day, a day of great joy, a day of great celebration, where we remember the truth of the Christmas message, Emmanuel, God with us. So whether you've managed to get out to church this morning, or whether you're watching this at home, if you have friends with you or family with you, or if it is just you in your home, God is with you. That's the joy and the message of Christmas. So let us pray. Blessing and honour and glory and power be to our God for his love revealed in the word made flesh. Blessing and honour and glory and power be to our God coming among us and sharing our humanity. Blessing and honour and glory and power be to our God filling Mary with the life of the divine. Blessing and honour and glory and power be to our God for our salvation, for bringing joy and peace into our world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive. taken from Luke chapter 2, beginning to read at verse 1. At that time, the Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, 
Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Saviour was born, Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared, with the angels singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. I know I'm definitely not alone in saying I love Christmas. I love everything about it. I love the carol services. I love the nativities. I love the sound of the silver band. I love the sound of the children's choirs. I love the presents, the excitement of Christmas morning. I love the Christmas dinner, even the Brussels sprouts. I love all the festivities and the silliness that goes with this time of year. I even love Christmas cracker jokes. I know I might then find myself in a bit of a minority, but I love the Christmas cracker jokes. Here's a few of my favourites. What says O, O, O? Santa, walking backwards. What do Santa's little helpers learn at school? The alphabet. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Frostbite. What do you get if you cross a bell with a skunk? Jingle smells, jingle smells. Why did no one bid for Rudolph and Blitzen on eBay? Because they were too dear. What do you call a bunch of chess players boasting about their games in a hotel lobby? Chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. <laughs> Why couldn't the owl comedian find a date? Because he was too witty to woo. <laughs> I'm sorry, some of those are truly appalling, but I love them. What a joke. What a joke. But if you think about the Christmas story, there are so many things in it where our response might well be, what a joke. Just think about it for a moment. The Holy One of Israel, the only person ever to live completely without sin, born to unmarried parents. What a joke, isn't it? The first worshippers for the Son of God, the promised Messiah, not the religious leaders or the rulers of society, but the shepherds out in their fields. What a joke, isn't it? The Magi, travelling hundreds of miles across desert, only to get distracted by Herod's palace, pitch up in the wrong place and inform an evil king about the birth of the King of Kings, causing a set of catastrophic events to take place, as told in Matthew's Gospel, as Herod then later orders all the children under the age of two, male children, to be put to death. What a joke. 
so much for them being wise men. What a joke, isn't it? Well, you could see it like that. But if we look deeper, if we look behind the story of the events, the narrative as we have it in Matthew's Gospel and Luke's Gospel, if we look deeper, we find that in this most divine of comedies, the wisdom of God himself is made flesh. He comes, the Son of God, the one through whom John tells us in the prologue to his gospel, the one through whom all things were created and nothing has been made except was made through him, comes. One of my favourite carols is very rarely sung these days, but it was written by Charles Wesley and it's called Glory Be to God on High. And it contains within it this incredible sentence. Just listen to this. You could write a PhD just on this one sentence alone. Being's source begins to be, and God himself is born. Wow. The one through whom all things have come into being is now himself being born. In this most divine of comedies, the wisdom of God is made flesh. He comes and he lives among us. He comes to set before us the perfect example of holiness, to show through his words and his actions the love of his heavenly Father for all, regardless of social status, regardless of gender, regardless of, uh, of creed, he comes to speak and to show God's love. And not only that, this child in the manger comes to pave the way through his own death and resurrection, to pave the way that each one of us can know that love of God for ourselves. This child did not stay in the manger. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, enthroned in the heavens. And through him, God sends the Holy Spirit to witness, to testify to each one of us that we too are loved. We too are children of God. Emmanuel, God is with us. And each one of us has a choice this Christmas and every Christmas. Indeed, every day we have a choice. Do we look at the festivities and the silliness and the laughter? And do we include the Christmas story in our response as we laugh? What a joke. Or do we bow our knee and declare him Lord? If we do, when we do, we find that beautiful truth. Emmanuel, God is with us. So at the end of this Christmas season, as you wrap up your nativities, take down the decorations, put things back up into the attic. I pray that you will not hack away the true meaning of Christmas. But that that may stay in your hearts and in your minds each and every day. God is with you. Thanks be to God. And I pray you have a truly happy and blessed Christmas. Amen. Be a plan or army, proud in power.
shepherds watch and wise men wonder, monarchs scorn and angels sing. Such a place as none would reckon, or some holy helpless thing. Stable beasts and bypass strangers watch a Centuries of skill and science and the past from which we move. Yet experience questions whether with such progress we improve. While the human lost we ponder, lest our hopes and humor fray. God surprises earth with heaven, coming here on Christmas Day. Emmanuel, God is with us. He has entered our darkness with his great light. He comes as our God, and yet as a child. Lord, help us and your whole church to walk as children of the light. Teach us to see your presence in each other, to be aware that what we do to each other, we do to you. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all people. Lord, give peace in the hearts of all. Peace in our land, peace among the nations. Peace in our homes, and peace in all our dealings. Peace through him who is the Prince of Peace. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Lord Jesus, born of Mary, you are a part of the human family. You share our joys and our sorrows, our hopes and our fears. Bless our homes with your loving presence. Be known to be with us, our families and our friends. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. Christ, why? 
joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. Amen. Happy Christmas from all the churches in the East section. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from me and from everybody in the west of the Isle of Man. I hope you have a blessed day and I pray that you will see the goodness of God in, in your day to day, whatever shape that takes. Bye bye. Happy Christmas from all the churches in the north of the Isle of Man and may the new year bring you the peace and hope of Christ. On behalf of the churches in the Douglas section, we wish you a happy and blessed and peaceful Christmas. God bless you all. Hello all, this is Charlton from the District Office, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy, happy Christmas, Christmas from, from the churches, churches in the South. south. Happy, happy Christmas. Christmas! Have a great have day! Have a lovely time! Bye! Bye!